Good morning. It is Friday, October 25th, and this is Michigan Mornings from Ave Maria Radio and the Ave Maria Radio app. I'm Matthew Handley. Coming up, we are in the final days of our pledge drive, and I've got a story that'll show you how your support affects other people. But first, this news. Detroit police are investigating the theft of a statue of a Tuskegee Airman from Rouge Park this week. Detroit Police Deputy Chief Franklin Hayes says it was made of bronze, weighed around 600 pounds, and was cut off at the ankles. The impact of what they did cuts deeper than what they did here on this site. The history, the legacy of the Red Tails, of the Tuskegee Airmen, to his family, to those that honorably served with him and are serving today. For you to disgrace that, you are an absolute coward. The statue honored the late Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Jefferson, who fought in World War II as a Tuskegee Airman, was a prisoner of war in Germany, and returned home to Detroit to become a teacher. His granddaughter, Ernstine Laverne, says the theft goes beyond vandalism and is a loss for, quote, everyone who found meaning, connection, and pride in the statue and the heroic actions of the Tuskegee Airmen. A $5,000 reward is being offered. The statue had been installed in Rouge Park in June. Oxford High School is closed today after the school went on lockdown yesterday for a threat. Oakland County Sheriff Mike Bouchard says the threat had been traced to a telephone in the Netherlands. He says the threats terrorize people and adds he does not know if the suspects knew about the deadly shooting at Oxford High School in November 2021 that killed four students and injured seven others. The swatting call said someone was in the bathroom with an AK-47 and a pipe bomb. 47-year-old Lavone Hill spent over 20 years in prison for a double murder he did not commit and is now finally a freed man. Hill was exonerated this week after work by the Michigan Innocence Clinic proved a witness statement used to convict him of the September 2001 deaths of two people was coerced by a Detroit police sergeant named Walter Bates. The witness recanted their statement on the stand and said Bates wrote the statement for them to sign despite the witnesses not being able to read or write. Hill says he is happy to be free, but a sad quote for all the innocent men I'm leaving in prison behind me and adds that he is sad for the families of the victims who were lied to about him being the person who killed them. And Gross Eel Township voters will decide in November if the township should purchase the toll bridge to the island. The 100-year-old bridge is owned by Wayne County and will be shut down for maintenance again. Township manager Derek Teal says they want to take the bridge over as there's only two bridges to the island and he believes they can handle the operations of it better than the county. The bond proposal before voters would pay for the purchase and upgrades to the bridge. You're listening to Michigan Mornings from Ave Maria Radio and the Ave Maria Radio app. Your local weather's next. Support for Ave Maria Radio comes from listeners like you. Because of your support, we are able to produce great Catholic programming, such as Catholic Connection, Ave Maria in the Afternoon, and Michigan Mornings. And we can share those programs with radio stations across the country. Your support directly impacts millions of listeners across the United States. We are in the midst of our membership drive. If you already support us, thank you. If you have supported us in the past or have never supported us before, please prayerfully consider making a donation to Ave Maria Radio. You can do so by going to our website, AveMariaRadio.net, and clicking the banner on the homepage. That is AveMariaRadio.net. You can also give us a call at 877-288-1077. Thank you for your continued support of Ave Maria Radio, and be assured of our prayers for you. Thank you. Showers are likely today in the Motor City, but those should taper off by 1 p.m. Our high will be 60. Tonight will be cloudy with lows around 42. Tomorrow will be sunny with a high of 58. Sunday will be sunny with temperatures in the upper 50s. And Monday will be mostly sunny with highs in the lower 60s. Right now in Detroit, it is 45 with fair skies, 43 in Brighton. This is Michigan Mornings from Ave Maria Radio. Showers are likely today in the Saginaw Valley, but should taper off by 10 a.m. Our high today will be 60. 
Tonight will be partly cloudy with lows around 39. Tomorrow will be sunny with a high of 57. Sunday will be sunny with temperatures around 60. And Monday will be mostly sunny with highs in the mid-60s. Right now in Saginaw, it's 46 with partly cloudy skies, 48 in Midland. Welcome back to Michigan Mornings. I'm Matthew Handley. Today is the final day of our pledge drive here on Ave Maria Radio. And as we've talked about all week, your support is crucial and it helps change people's lives by evangelizing the gospel of Jesus Christ. A listener named Becky from South Dakota wrote this email to Teresa Tamio to share how Ave Maria Radio had changed her life. Take a listen. I just wanted to extend appreciation for all that you do for people like me on your program, Catholic Connection. I'm the mother of five, a full-time caregiver of a son with severe cerebral palsy. I joined a Bible study at church six years ago, just trying to get some positive interaction with other adults, hopefully of similar morals as myself, as I felt like I was drowning in a hopeless sea of lies and deception in the secular world. I was looking for hope. The first thing at the study I remember is a flyer that went out amongst our study group to listen to you at a talk in Sioux Falls. I had no idea who you were, but I learned of Real Presence Radio at this time and started tuning in. I now listen to it every day. No TV, no Facebook. I just learned on 94.5 FM. Even my kids will tell you, Teresa Tommy was my favorite, and I never miss a Thursday with Father Mitch. I've learned so much from all the programs, Dr. Ray, Dr. Anders, Open Line, etc. I feel like a fool not really knowing my faith all these years until recently. Now I have fallen in love with the faith and my goals and objectives have all been transformed. My husband of nearly 24 years just converted to the faith 18 months ago and my brother has come back to regularly taking part in the mass and received the gift of confirmation last year. He became my son's sponsor for his confirmation in January. Things are moving in the right direction in this house and it all started with your voice welcoming me home. That is what Catholic Radio does for people. That is what Ave Maria Radio does for listeners every day. And your support is crucial as we work to reach more people like Becky across the country and right here at home in Southeast Michigan. We're asking you to support us by going online to AveMariaRadio.net. AveMariaRadio.net. That's A-V-E-M-A-R-I-A Radio.net. If you'd prefer to give over the phone later today, there will be a phone number that you can call and you can talk to one of our volunteers and staff members and we'll be happy to take your pledge. Again, today is the final day of our pledge drive and your support is crucial as we continue to spread the gospel here in Southeast Michigan and across the country here on Ave Maria Radio. I'm Matthew Handley. That's gonna do it for this edition of Michigan Mornings on a Friday. Lord willing, I'll talk to you again on Monday. And until then, goodbye.